Here. Today is July 16th, 2020. Welcome to the channel once again. What I have before you is the LED grow light for indoor plants made by Ezorkas. 80 watts, 80 LEDs, 9 levels of brightness, 3 lighting modes, automatic timer that can be set on 3 hour, 9 hour, and 12 hour modes. I picked this up off the Amazon store for $32. The reason why I picked this up because I was looking for something relatively inexpensive, something that I could just, you know, use to, you know, sprout some starter seeds in hopes of maybe planting them outside. So I found this, I looked at the reviews, a lot of five-star reviews, and as always, I always look at the top reviews and then I always look down a little bit in the middle and then I look down at the bottom because the most important thing is to know what people are complaining about. And those one-star reviews I noticed that they all complained about this piece right here. That's $15, claim your Amazon $15 gift card if you leave us a positive review. You know, obviously that means a five-star review. So I was kind of hesitant to buy it, but you know what? I said, you know, it's only $32. Let me get it, let me test it out for myself. And if it turns out to be a successful product, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that five-star review if it satisfies you know all my needs so it is here today I have it set up right here out of the box and I like it also because it's very mobile the clip on it can clip to a desk or to a table and I got my roller here and I know excuse me for a second um, I'll turn it around but just to give you an example of what it can fit, this is a two inch thick desk. So that is pretty much the limit right there. I wouldn't try to go any, or if you're trying to put it on something, uh, around something a little bit more wider than that, then this might not be a good option for you. Let me talk a little bit about it as I come up over here, get a little closer to it and turn it on for you. You got a power button down here, and then you got your timer mode right above that, three, nine, and 12 hours. And then you got your, uh, this, is a, this is a mode, this, this little button right here switches between the different lighting modes. So there's 50, or there's 80 LED light chips on this, so you can either do 52 red at one time, 28 blue at one time, or you can, run them both at the same time to get all 80 LED light chips running. And then obviously this, uh, not obviously, but this plus and minus symbol right here is to toggle between your levels of brightness. You can start from one, go all the way up to nine, and then all the way back down if you want to with that button. So I will turn this on. You will see it come on. Let me turn off the light here so you get a better view. And there we go. So this is the Azorka's grow lights on right now. And it's a really neat setup because you can toggle the lights back and forth because the goosenecks on them are really flexible. So you can pretty much arrange them to your plant's needs or your setup needs, whatever it may be. And then I'll go ahead and I'll just flip one of these Azorka lights up so you can get a view of it. There's 80 LED chips combined on all four heads here. So that's 20 uh, LED chips per light. I'll go ahead and put that back down because it's pretty bright. So when you open it, you obviously want to inspect everything. Make sure all your lights are on none of them are flickering I know some people have issues with the lights flickering and stuff like that but um, usually that's because you don't have you know maybe your plugs not set in uh, the socket all the way or something like that make sure everything is seated properly uh, when you get it all set up so another thing here is I'll go through the levels of brightness and Based on the 
instructions from Azorkas. Whenever you have these lights hovering above a plant, you wanna give at least 11 inches of space. 11 inches to 20 inches of space is recommended. Obviously 11 being the minimal amount of space between the plants and the lights. But um, as you can see here, from desk top to the height of the lights, it's 11 inches. I'll put that back there. And then I will go over to the timer mode right here. And you got your three, nine, and 12. What you wanna do, if you wanna get it on three hour, click it one time, it's blue. If you wanna get it on nine hour, click it another time, it's green. If you wanna get it on 12 hour, click it another time, it's on 12 hours. And then just leave it like that. It's blinking, so it's running on a timer mode. So, all your lights are on right here. Well, all my lights are on right here, and I'll lower this so you can get a better shot of it. I'll go over to the lighting modes button right there, and I'll hit it one time. And that's all red right there, as you see. Everything's red on all four lights. Hit it another time, and that's all blue. Everything's all blue on the lights. And then one more time, and that'll give me both red and blue. There we go. And then the final button on there is your levels of brightness. We're on level brightness number one right now. I will, you'll get a better shot of them if I just go ahead and just do this. Just have them all at 11 inches above uh, the desk right here. And what I got set up right here is the Lux light meter. And you can see how the Lux light meter is detecting 51 Lux off of the lowest level of brightness on the Azorka lights. So we're on level one right now. I'll go up to level two. And I got this, this Lux light meter positioned center with the lights. So and I'll go up to level three now. 235 Lux, level four. 329 Lux, level five. 425 Lux, level six. 500 Lux, level seven, 600 Lux. Level eight, 700 Lux. And level nine, that is 765 Lux. And that's at, like I said, this is at a distance of about 11 inches. So, you've seen the brightness, you've seen how much lux it puts off from desktop, desktop height to the lights. Now, another thing is the wattage here. Um, we are at, let me go back down to level one real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is our lowest level of brightness right here. Um, when we're at the lowest level of brightness, I have my Azorka Grow Lights connected to my Jackery portable power station. And my power station gives me how much output as far as uh, in watts. So the Azorkas at level of brightness number one are putting out four watts. Let me go to level number two and we'll see how many watts that puts out. Let's see if we get a jump. Five watts for level number two. We can go back and forth, toggle. So we'll go up to level number three. And we are at five watts. Level number four. The difference may not be that much. That is level number four, six watts. So it wants to get to six watts. Level number five. Six 
six watts. Level number six. Seven watts. Level number seven. Still seven watts. Level number eight. And, oh, eight watts. And level number nine. So, nine watts. So at level number nine brightness of the Azorka Girl Lights, we get, you know, at a max nine watts as being reported by the Jackery Portable Power Station, Power Outdoors. Pretty cool device too. So I'll leave a link in the description for this too. It's very helpful if you got a lot of outside projects, can run a number of things, including power tools. Very good for the outdoorsy person. And then another little manual in here, timer function air indicator. Pretty much goes over everything I just explained. And something, let me look on here to see if I missed anything. Um, LED lights are good for 50,000 hours. Now when you think about that, that's 11 years of continuous runtime at 12 hours a day. Look it up, it's true. Um, light wavelength. The red's gonna attack the 620 to 630 range, while the blue's gonna attack the 460 to 470 range. And when I look those up, those are in ranges of like chlorophyll, I wanna say B, both of them being in chlorophyll B. Uh, also protection grade, the IP44, which basically means it's a splash resistant uh, timer function indicator. The input voltage, AC85, 265 volt, 50 to 60 hertz. LED quantity, three head, 52 right. 28 blue equals 80 pieces and the instructions on the back led plant growth this product is mainly suitable for small plants each light is suitable for three to five small plants there should be a distance of 11 to 20 inches between the plant and the light in general this plant lamp can be turned on for three nine 12 hour days for the best possible result please keep enough water for the plants when you use the grow light do not spray water on the lamp. It is not waterproof. This product has been tested through FCC, ETL, ROHS, and CE. Please rest assured to use. So I went over everything in the box, and now it's time to see if we can get these Azorka Grill Lights to germinate a seed. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to run the timeline. I'm going to show you some results, and I'm going to let you know if these lights are worth the buy and see if I can give Azorkas a five-star review and get that $15 credit back. And that'll actually turn these $32 lights into a $17 buy, which, hey, is very well worth the money. Let's see what I got here. All right, so I'm gonna give this a five-star review. It accomplished all my needs, made me very happy. I'll take my $15 back, and as always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, 
subscribe. Till the next video, be safe. I'll talk to you guys later. Mopar for life. Peace. Feel this. Uh huh. For $250. Uh huh. What? Ow. $250 for this.